Every start of the year, we hear a lot of New Year's resolution, right? A lot of promises to God. Lord, I will do this and I will do that. But sadly, if I really take a look at it, these are the same promises we made the year before. Meaning we kept on doing the same thing. You know, the Bible does not lack reminders telling us what to do. That is why doing things that are not pleasing to God over and over again means we are mocking the Word of God. Just imagine us mocking God. How could we? In chapter 28 of Isaiah, the ten tribes of Israel and the two tribes of Judah and Benjamin are threatened with divine judgment because of their sins and iniquities mentioned in the text. Verses 9 to 10 says, Whom will he teach knowledge? And whom will he make to understand the message? Those just win from milk? Those just drawn from their best? For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. People are asking, whom will he teach knowledge? And whom will he make to understand the message? They thought it is for those that were just weaned from milk. So they refuse the message. In their mocking of Isaiah's message, they actually pay him a great compliment. It is a beautiful thing for God's truth to be presented precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. When the Word of God is properly presented, there is something that is shared for both the simple and immature to receive, and also something for the great saint to rejoice, to rejoice in and be fed with the Word of God. However, the pattern between or the pattern repeatedly described in the scriptures suggests we receive line upon line, precept upon precept, or in other words, many small answer or many small answers over a period of time that make up the full wisdom extended by God's Word. Recognizing and understanding this pattern is an important key to obtaining inspiration and help from the Holy Spirit. When you climb up a ladder, you must begin at the bottom and ascend step by step until you arrive at the top. And so, it is with the principles of the Gospel you must begin with the first and go on until you learn all the principles of exaltation. Now, do we want to be threatened with divine judgments just because we fail to recognize and understand God's word? I know surely that we don't want this. So then we should repent. To repent means to rearrange our entire way of thinking, feeling, and being so we can forsake that which is wrong. Given all this, I want you to do this simple step for clarity on God's proving and direction given in His Word. Number one, be honest about your need of repentance. Number two, acknowledge the danger of sin and damage of guilt. Number three, confess fully, meaning not half-hearted, not only those things that you can share and keep those you cannot. Number four, hide in God. Find solace and comfort in Him, especially in confusing and deceiving moments. And in number five, Seize the hope that is in Christ's blessed assurance. Let's start the new year right. God bless us all.